Hey folks, this is Ben Gessel. How's it going? I'm going to actually do part two tonight as well. Um, so here we're going to look at fruit and stuff here for a bit. Um, and of course that first column is vitamin A. But I forgot to mention uh, with nuts, the last video, um, probably had the most peanuts, followed by probably toss between, well, probably cashews and almonds, but they're both up there. And pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and walnuts I have a little bit less often. But looking back at fruits now, yeah, not much in the way of vitamin A, for the for these for the fruits that I eat. Now, apricots have a fair amount, of course. And I also, um, this is from the 100 Healthiest Foods, so I eat, definitely eat a lot of cherries, especially in the summer. Nectarines, mangoes, the other fruits that I'm not including here, but um, this one has at least a lot of the fruits that I tend to have. And then I tend to have the most of probably oranges, followed by um, probably... Strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries, at least in the summer. And then um, probably grapes and apples. And then you get to eventually to the other guys. Um, pears and bananas and pineapple and plums. But uh, not, so again, not too much vitamin A. But then we get to um, that nutrient is B1. Sorry, this is B1. Second column here. So B1, you can see there's a little bit going on, at least for oranges and pineapple especially. And that's B2, the next one over. Still not really a whole lot going on. Grapes, bananas. Um, B3, even less going on. B5 is the next one. B6, so like small, small amounts here and there. Somewhat small amounts. Smaller amounts, but then of course you have bananas. I have quite a bit of B6. That's B6. Bananas, B6. At least a quarter of your... One banana has a quarter of your B6 needs of the day. And then, oh man, you can guess what that middle column is. Of course, there's no B12 or vitamin D, but right in the middle is vitamin C. And right off the bat, we have oranges, pineapple, strawberries, and raspberries. Sky-high amounts, of course. And the next one over, vitamin E, yes, this, one's, this one right here, so they can... <laughs> this one, vitamin E, so not really a whole lot. That's vitamin K. And then you see blueberries and grapes have a fair amount of vitamin K. Uh, a little bit of pears as well. And then the next one over, getting to the minerals here, this is biotin. Well, biotin's kind of, I guess, a vitamin, I don't know. Uh, a little bit of raspberries, bananas, and apples and stuff. Next one over, um, copper. Now, copper was a big thing with nuts and seeds. Still pretty big deal with grapes and pineapple. Um, next one over is um, manganese. Huge amount for pineapple, of course. Raspberries, somewhat. Blueberries, strawberries. Then the next two, don't, just there's not really a whole lot of the stuff with them. Phosphorus and magnesium. And then, of course, no molybdenum. Um, so everybody knows that fruit has vitamin C, especially, you know, berries and uh, oranges and pineapple and stuff. And I imagine, I think mango has a lot of vitamin E as well. Mango is, mango is a lot like uh, cashews and pistachios, so you'll have some similar things going on there, at least vitamin E especially. So going on to page two here. Page two. So that first column, that's protein. Obviously, fruit doesn't have very much protein. You actually have 3% in the serving for raspberries, which is, huh. raspberries are interesting. Of course, that next one over is carbs. You can see grapes have, grapes and bananas are the carbs, and also pears. Followed by pineapple, well, apples, pineapple, blueberries, that sort of thing. Plums and strawberries and raspberries, especially you know, those bottom ones, even oranges. Yeah, it's surprising. So that last, that third column, this one right there, that's actually fat. Raspberries have 1% fat, as well as bananas. Mm. Raspberries are interesting. Um, fiber. A fair amount of fiber, especially for raspberries, and also pears. A little bit for apples and stuff, too. Next one over at middling, that's, that's calories. Of course, fruit 
tends to not really have a lot, a lot of calories. You can help out a little bit. It's nice snacky stuff. Then hardly any choline, of course, it's just not the right thing there. Folate, you know, you get some for uh, oranges and uh, strawberries. This, this is not for boron. The 100 Healthiest Foods website didn't have the uh, percent of your recommended daily allowance. just had the total amount for the nutrients. But um, you can see grapes and pears, pretty awesome there. Again, these are just the fruits I tend to eat more. I, there are other other stuff I'm going to be putting out that has stuff that I don't eat as much of. But this is this is more my diet and what I'm getting, you know, basically on a pretty regular basis. Um, calcium. You know, there's a little actually oranges have a little bit of calcium, and people don't know that. But even raspberries have three percent calcium in one serving. Chromium, you get a little bit for apples. Maybe teensy bit for bananas, but mm. that last one over is iodine. Iodine is interesting again. It's not as commonly found, but you need it still. And strawberries have nine percent iodine in the serving, which is yeah. And bananas have six percent. It's pretty uh, noteworthy, I think. Okay, and I, we can talk about iodine. I mentioned I wear iodine. You can find iodine in a previous video, but looking more at anything from the sea. For the most part, eggs and stuff. Okay. Okay. So, uh, this is uh, sugar content. First, that first column. This one, right? Let me see if I can point to it. Yep, this one. I'm not sure why the 100 Healthiest Foods website didn't have bana bananas sugar content, but whatever. It's from out. So you can see there's a lot of fair amount of sugar, but this is naturally occurring sugar, sugar, naturally occurring sugar in grapes, 23 grams per serving. And then of course apples are pretty high as well. Pears, pineapple, blueberries in the middle somewhere, 15 grams. And then you have um, some, some of the lower ones are like strawberries and plums. Raspberries just have 5.4. There's actually some vegetables that have more sugar in a serving than raspberries. It's amazing to mention that. It tastes so raspberry tastes so good. It's interesting that they lower sugar. Iron. Not very much iron except for raspberries again at 5%. Very unique fruit that way. Potassium. 9% for bananas. We, all, we know that bananas have a bit of potassium. Not very much selenium at all for fruit. Yeah. And that next one over, yeah, sodium, of course, no. Next one over, zinc, no. But again, raspberries at 5%. Raspberries are very unique. I, You know, blackberries, they didn't have it for blackberries. I mentioned blackberries have a similar profile. Very, very interesting. Raspberries and blackberries, probably. This is omega 3s. Raspberries at six percent of your omega three fatty acids. Raspberries are a very overlooked fruit. Sometimes they're really healthy for you. Blueberries at four percent. Strawberries at four percent. Omega threes. Yeah, I don't know. And this gets more technical, but basically you can see a lot of fructose. That high number at twelve point three. That's for grapes. Uh, it tastes really good. <laughs> And then that 11.4 is for um, um, the pears. And the 10.7 is apples. Yeah. Blueberries are just at 7.4. This is fructose. You get a lot of monosaccharides for um, grapes. They taste really good. Anyway. And last page. Poor fruit. So this is just kind of some more the sugar breakdown or carb breakdown. You see grapes have 10.9 grams of glucose per serving. Yeah, <laughs> but they taste good. And disaccharides, pineapple, 9.8 grams. Sucrose, that's a 9.9, .9, I think. And pineapple gets, gets some 
get some sweets there at the end. Yeah. So of course, um, the most expensive uh, fruit is probably berries in the off season. Raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries. And then uh, grapes and pineapple and plums are some in the middle. Uh, the cheap stuff, again, is great. You still have cheap apples. Bananas probably the cheapest, but I don't know. But apples, bananas, oranges, and pears. And I, again, I just I love, I love oranges. And uh, durability, they're not durable, but we eat them really fast. And for me, all these guys are good to go, except pineapples can be a real hassle as far as convenience. And then it's, it is true that it's hard to, to find good berries out of season, what you need to do is get frozen berries. And then occasionally they'll find some decent berries, kind of, that are off season. But I'm looking forward to the summer, believe me. It's not too far away. All right, so I'll catch you guys later. I'll leave your thoughts or comments below. Catch you guys later. Take care. Bye.